Give us a sense of how important or not important is this in terms of national security, our relations with the Russians and the president's relations with the national security establishment. Well, if you read the Washington Post story and you read what McMaster said, they said exactly the same thing. Uh, he gave information that came from a source. He didn't mention the existence of the source. The information was that uh, apparently that the ISIS uh, was developing some sort of uh, computer bomb. And that's not abnormal for the U.S. to share that sort of intelligence, even with the Russians. Now, the claim is that by sharing that information, it was possible to find out who the source was. And I don't know that, and I don't know that it's not possible. But it's certainly not unusual for the president to share intelligence. Uh, this was not the sharing of a source. Now, the really interesting thing is who leaked the story. Uh, there were people in the room when it happened. There were people who had access to the minutes, I assume, after it. But these would be very serious officials. Uh, so who were the people who gave the story to the Washington Post? And is it yeah. true that the CIA called the Post and asked them not to give out the details that were exchanged? Right. So there's two ways to look at this. One, this is the normal sharing of intelligence, battlefield intelligence, without revealing the source. Right. The other is went farther. George, we should talk about who may have leaked it, but before we get to that, what is reported in the Washington Post is the important thing is that the president revealed the city from which the attack originated, which would reveal or at least indicate perhaps which foreign country was cooperating with us in intelligence gathering, which would be super sensitive. Does that seem plausible to you, having consumed this sort of information in the past? Uh, it seems to me plausible. I, I don't know the other information. I don't know the background. Uh, but remember that the United States banned these computers from some countries. The European Union also banned at the same time uh, computers from some of these countries, so that you have a situation where this intelligence was already shared. I mean, the claim was that the source was never shared, probably true. Possibly, if you know the city that it was in, they could track it down if the Russians wanted to. But it was far more likely that ISIS would find out that this stuff had leaked, that uh, they had a source in them, by publishing them on the front page of the Washington Post. So, you know. Without knowing more detail, uh, it's hard to say, but I have to say that a president revealing a finding to a country that he's courting for helping on ISIS is not that outrageous.